Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to do a review on that. This is the Vintage Dreadline I told you guys about. Um, what the weird part is though, it's in a... I think this package is too large for just a small little car, but... I mean, maybe they just want to pack it securely, I don't know. I'm not really sure, it seems like it's too big of a package. Let me get it, <clears throat> let me get it open. I'll show you guys exactly what the red line looks like. Um, it isn't in the best of condition, but it's in good enough shape that it was certainly worth buying for the price I got it for. I got it for like only $10. And I've been noticing lately that the prices of a lot of the, especially, I mean, the mint on car red lines are still going for a fair amount of money, but the, the red lines there, like they're loose. They're not really in that good a condition. Um, they're going for less money and maybe they, there's a reason for that. If somebody in the Hot Wheels community could maybe uh, message me on that, let me know because there might be a, there might be a good reason why that's happening. I'm, I'm not really exactly sure why, um, why that would be occurring. Um, let me just get this open. See if I could slowly do that here. Um, See, I might need a scissor to get this open. Or I can maybe get it open without one. Let me see though. Let me see here. Hold on one second. Let me just try to get this open. I think I nearly have it. All right, there we go, I got it. Let me get this out of here. Okay, so this is the, this is the Mantis. Um, let me check here um this actually this isn't in too bad a shape um it's not horrible um a lot of the red lines i've seen they're pretty uh, not so great um but this one's actually in not bad condition i think the windows are kind of stuck but this one's not in that bad a shape um this is a vintage red line um this is not a new one this is an original um, this is a Mantis. I'm not going to restore this. I don't do restorations. I don't do customs on any of my cars or any of my collection. I don't do anything like that. Um, and so if it's like in bad shape, I kind of keep it that way. I don't really do anything with it. And this is actually the speed machine. This is a, they made this car in the 90s main line, but this is the, this is the version that, um, is the red line version. It's actually pretty cool. Um, and it's got some chipping. It does have a lot of wear like all around it. Um, so it isn't, like I said, it's not in the best of condition, but it's actually definitely not the worst. I've seen much worse than this, that's for sure. I've seen red lines. If you, there was a toy show video I posted where the red line was completely, just completely torn apart. And I couldn't couldn't figure out why, but this is this is actually considering its age and considering its rarity, this is in pretty nice shape. And I got it pretty good, so I'm actually pretty happy with this. So if you push this button here, it doesn't really do anything. Um, 
but yeah, I mean, it's it's a really cool model. It's very nice. Um, and I'm gonna conclude this review today on my, on my Red Line Mantis. Um, I'm not getting any other Red Lines for a while. After this week, I'm actually taking a break from buying for a little bit, so I'll be just doing videos of my own stuff. Um, I am getting some more stuff in. I think I'm getting a Jace, a Red Ranger Fliphead Jason in. It could be Jason or Rocky. I'm not, I'm hoping it's Rocky, but I don't think so. Um, but I'm getting that in. I'm getting a few other things in. Um, and that's going to be it for my videos. Say thank you. Have a good day.